We are concerned about the possible explosion. Mysterious bubbling at Lake Pinure. Manure was draining through the hole bored by the drill. A mighty whirlpool was forming I on the surface. It was the end of the world. People living near Lake Penur are concerned about the expansion of a natural gas storage facility in salt domes. There are no other lakes on a salt dome. We think is unstable salt formation. The lake is now bubbling in areas and leaving a white foam residue. The bubbling began in the summer but picked up frequency in November. You don't really honestly believe that the gas from that gas storage is causing Where is the pressure coming from? We are concerned about the possible explosion of the 9 billion cubic feet of natural gas that are compressed and stored. We don't believe that our facilities are any any way involved. We, we don't have any way to definitively refute, you know, the idea that We have a a very distinctive issue going on. Well, accidents can happen in the industry. It's a very safe industry. The house sank about 30 feet. In the area say they'll continue to be uneasy until they know what's happening. A small mistake can have huge consequences. I'm Karen Henderson, WRKF News. For months now, residents of Iberia Parish have been asking the state of Louisiana to help them discover the cause of mysterious bubbling at Lake Pinure. Those who live in the area say they'll continue to be uneasy until they know what's happening. Lake Pinure is a 1,300-acre body of water that sits above a massive salt dome. It was here in 1980 that a drilling rig punched a hole in the salt mine below. It resulted in a whirlpool that swallowed the drilling platform, 11 barges, and about 50 acres of land. The whirlpool is basically a vortex of, of water and mud pulling sediment and other materials down with it. Those are four fully loaded flatbed trucks spinning helplessly in the whirlpool. 150-year-old trees were snapped in half. There were pecan trees that were 150 feet tall down here in this woods. To stand there and watch them drop completely out of sight. <laughs> so that's the last thing I've seen. My boat tied up to the tree going into that the That house that we were standing on, uh, all you see now is a chimney. The, the house sank about 30 feet. The canal, which normally flowed away from Lake Pinor and into the Gulf of Mexico, actually reversed direction under the intense sucking power of the whirlpool. It formed a 150-foot waterfall, the highest ever in Louisiana. But that's the only time the Gulf of Mexico flew north. So that's a lot of water you know, to fill up that hole. Small mistake can have huge consequences. The Texaco disaster of 1980 halted industrial activity in Lake Pinier, but only for a short time. In 1994, the state of Louisiana approved permits for the storage of natural gas in the salt dome beneath the lake. Knowing the salt dome was unstable, the local community filed an injunction to stop the project. The injunction was granted, but later thrown out by the court. Today, the caverns are as large as the New York City's Twin Towers and can store 9 billion cubic feet of natural gas at up to 3,000 pounds per square inch. In 2005, current cavern operators AGL Resources Incorporated proposed adding two more salt caverns for gas storage. Again, the community strongly opposes this project for many reasons. AGL would use fresh drinking water to leach out the new caverns, over 7 billion gallons of water that cannot be replaced. There are currently no water regulations in Louisiana to prevent depletion of the drinking water supply allowing AGL to waste as much water as they want. Years of salt and sulfur mining and oil and gas drilling at the lake have taken their toll. With the lake's history and current mystery, she's not convinced the two caverns they already operate aren't causing a problem. AGL plant manager Jim Pitts. We don't have any way to definitively refute, you know, the idea that, uh, you know, that our facilities could be involved. And we took some samples of the foam and there's some typical uh, elements that you would find in lake waters and and some uh, traces of what was what the lab called weathered diesel
Residents have testified before the Louisiana State Legislature to protect their drinking water and to ensure their safety from an explosion. To no avail. There have been 10 major catastrophic accidents involving salt caverns in the last 30 years, five resulting in death. Uh, I, I, I have been around the oil and gas industry for, for uh, most of my life, and uh, while, while accidents can happen in any industry, it's a very safe industry, and I feel very comfortable that the people there are not going to be exposed to any environmental or safety problems. We have a, a, a very distinctive issue going on, and unfortunately, our representatives chose not to see that and chose to vote for the corporations rather than for the people.